Hello, and welcome to today's discussion on the evolution of sexual harassment laws in the workplace. I'm Eric, and today we'll be exploring the significant milestones that have shaped the legal landscape of workplace sexual harassment. Before the 1960s, legal protections against workplace sexual harassment were practically non-existent. Women, who were predominantly affected, faced harassment with little to no recourse, as societal norms and gender roles often led to such behavior being overlooked or tolerated. The Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s marked a pivotal change. The passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, particularly Title VII, prohibited employment discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Although sexual harassment was not explicitly mentioned, this act laid the groundwork for future legal interpretations. In the 1970s and 1980s, several landmark cases began to shape the legal definitions and protections against sexual harassment. For instance, in Barnes v. Costell, 1977, the court ruled that it was sex discrimination for a woman to suffer employment losses for refusing sexual advances. Another significant case was Williams v. Saxby, 1976, which set a precedent by recognizing quid pro quo sexual harassment as sex discrimination under Title VII. In 1986, the Supreme Court case, Meritor Savings Bank v. Vinson was a breakthrough. The court ruled that a hostile work environment created by sexual harassment violated Title VII. This ruling emphasized that employers could be held liable for harassment by supervisors even if they were unaware of the behavior. The 1990s brought further expansions. The case of Harris v. Forklift Systems, Inc. in 1993 broadened the definition of a hostile work environment, ruling that proof of psychological harm was not necessary, just that a reasonable person would find the environment hostile or abusive. The Civil Rights Act of 1991 also strengthened protections by allowing victims to seek compensatory and punitive damages, providing a stronger deterrent against harassment. In the early 2000s, there was an increase in policy development and awareness. The EEOC issued guidelines emphasizing employer responsibilities to prevent and address harassment. Supreme Court cases such as Farragher v. City of Boca Raton and Burlington Industries, Inc. v. Ellerth in 1998 further clarified employer liability, emphasizing the importance of preventive measures and prompt corrective actions. More recently, the Me Too movement, which gained momentum in 2017, has brought unprecedented attention to workplace sexual harassment. This movement has led to significant cultural shifts and legislative responses, with many states enacting stronger protections and mandatory training requirements. Despite progress, challenges remain. Intersectionality, remote work dynamics, and varying global legal standards require ongoing efforts to address workplace harassment comprehensively. The evolution of sexual harassment laws reflects our broader societal commitment to equality and justice. From early recognition to the impactful Hash Me Too movement, significant strides have been made, but continued vigilance and innovation are crucial. By fostering inclusive workplaces and robust legal protections, we can ensure a future where all employees are safe, respected, and valued. Thank you for joining us today. For more information and resources, please visit the Sanders Firm, PC website. Stay informed, stay safe. Until next time, take care.